Hi everyone, my name is Moni. I'm Naveen. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about this game right here that's called Gridopolis. As you can see, it's not your standard board game. Right. It's more of like a game system. But uh, we think that it's really interesting and we just wanted to be able to share this system with you all. And we're also hoping that this is this kind of a publisher or game spotlight is something that we'd want to do about once a month to kind of showcase um, publishers or games that maybe don't have a whole lot of buzz that we think is, is interesting that we'd like you know to share with all of you. Uh, to be clear, it's not something that's paid. You know, we're not getting paid to do this and it's never going to be paid. Mm -hmm. This is something that we just think is, is interesting. We actually met the designer of this game when we were at a local gaming convention. This convention was called Game School Con and it's basically uh, a convention where they brought a lot of like-minded people together who educate their children at home through the use of different games. So this is something that we wanted to highlight today. Yeah, it was a board gaming and homeschooling uh, convention in one. Exactly. But let's get into the game. So this is Gridopolis. It's basically an abstract 3D version of checkers. checkers yep. It's modular, meaning this shape is not always the way that you play. You can kind of construct different shapes depending on how many players you're playing with. Mm -hmm. So in the standard game of checkers, you only have two players. Right. But in this game, it's up to four which makes it even more interesting. But basically, there, there are different modes of play. So one of the, the main mode is basically just to play until all your opponent's pawns have been eaten. Last person right? standing. Yeah. Just like in regular checkers. But you can also do different uh, versions where it's like point scoring or you know different stuff like that. So each player has their own set of pawns and they're color-coded. So in this example, mine are all purple and yep. the means are the green ones. On your turn, you're going to move your pawns, just One like piece. in checkers. The way that movement works is your your pawns always have to move forward. So this is the home row. You can never be moving backwards towards right. the row. And you're gonna move one space. So if I were to move this pawn, I could move forward one space here. I can also move up here. Now we're gonna talk about this piece in a bit, but we can also move up here. I can also move down here. And you can also move sideways as long as you're not moving backwards. backwards. Exactly. You can also hop over your own piece. So if I wanted to move this piece instead, I could hop this piece over like that. That works. And that's pretty much how movement works. On your turn, if you're able to, you can also eat each other's pawn. That's like the whole point of the game, right? So if Naveen's pawn were here, I could hop over his pawn and remove his pawn from the game. And then I would be one point ahead. One ahead. Yep. The thing that's interesting about this game is the 3D part. So if I were, say, here, and Naveen was here, and it's Naveen's turn, he can eat my pawn in a straight line across the different levels. So he went from this space all the way down to this space. It's different, it's traversing the different levels, but he still went in a straight line. In one plane. One plane, yeah. and then this piece would be his. The same thing can be said if my piece were here and Naveen's piece were up here. He could eat my piece by moving all the way down to this diagonal spot right. because the plane went diagonally this way and then my piece would be bye-bye. So that's the interesting part of the game because you know a lot of times it's difficult to think in that kind of 3D mode. So it really pushes um, players to think that way, to think that abstractly and logically at the same right. time. There are also these uh, nodes that are called hyperpads that basically act as teleportation spaces where if I were to land on it, it would automatically teleport me to a different hyperpad of my choice. There's several littered throughout the board. Yeah, there's several throughout the board. And as soon as I get to my opponent's home row, which is the very, very last row here that has their color uh, on it, then I become a king, just like in checkers. I get pushed over. And now I can not only move forward and backwards, I get two movements, two movements per yeah. turn. If on your turn you choose not to move, you can instead build so we actually start the game with 10 different pieces that include more of these uh, pads and some of these poles to create another uh, level. level yep. It would kind of go like that. And so on your turn, you can build another piece to this set, which makes you know the game more interesting. Because you can also add these blocker spots that would essentially make this pad gone. Completely you easy. would have to go yeah. around the pad. So this is what we just showcased right now. This is the base kind of setup of the game. I think it's called uh, the Matrix. It's the Matrix, yeah. yeah. There are other variations that you can set up the board initially. They could be maybe just two levels, or you can make even more levels, like a big, large tower. And there's also just the ability just to be creative. So um, this is good for kids uh, who 
you want them to kind of think in this three-dimensional planning, uh, but also in the structural building of the game. It's almost like Legos and checkers together. So the version that you see here is actually part of the original printing that was a limited printing. Mm -hmm. Currently, they are doing pre-orders for the second edition of the, of the game that's going to be shipping over the summer. So we're going to actually include a link down below uh, for their website that has a ton of information about how this can be applied in um, teaching STEM. You know, is, this game is really perfect for people who are homeschoolers or just have anybody in their household that they want to stimulate mentally. Yep. Educators. If you're an educator, you can bring this to your classroom or, you know, anybody who is trying to teach this kind of thinking. And if you are interested in pre-ordering this game, we were actually given a discount code so you can have 10% uh, off. Just enter in before you play as a discount code on the website. And we'll include that in the link down below also. Naveen and I have actually played this, this game a few times, a times to get yeah. a kind of a feel of it. And I enjoy checkers type games yeah. and chess type games. And I, I actually really was really surprised by it. It's hard to think this way. <laughs> the game puts you in positions where you think you got it and then you don't realize how exposed you are yeah. uh, on the defensive. And so it's, there's a lot of critical thinking there. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially with the ability to build and to, like you said, block off different spaces. Um, yeah. So you can, you can try to plan your moves ahead, but things can change. The board can change. Right. Um, so it does make it very, very interesting. Yeah, it's fun. So if you have any questions about the game, Feel free to visit the company's website or leave a comment down below and we'll do our best to answer. Don't forget, there's a 10% discount code down below. We are not getting any kickbacks from it. Right. So this is literally just for you. And if you're interested in getting the game now and don't mind having one of the original copies, then they are selling the rest of the copies that they have for a, a large discount. Mm -hmm. So you can inquire about that as well on the website. So what we're going to be trying to do is try to do more of these publisher spotlights, uh, maybe once a month um, or just kind of as we see them come along. Uh, so if you like this video and like to see more, please consider subscribing. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.